Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and hello Natalie. In this video we're going to look at how to get better tones from your amplifier. We're using the Harley Benton HB20R and the um, Harley Benton SC450 CB uh, electric guitar. Now a lot of people talk about getting the right tone with your amp. The first thing you've got to do is to get it off the floor and get it pointing at you. Whenever you want to set up your amp to play, you have to consider the room you're in. So that's why musicians and bands, whenever they're playing a gig, they'll always go to the gig beforehand and they'll do a sound check because the settings that you've got at home are not going to work necessarily in a hall or a pub or a club. So you need to, you need to change your settings according to the environment you're in. So today, the first tip I'm going to give you is this. Get your amp off of the floor, like this. There it is, the Harley Benton 20R combo amp that came with the, the package that I bought with the guitar here. And it's a great little amp. Now, when you see most people talking about amplifiers, they talk about putting all these uh, settings in like into the 12 o'clock position, all facing upwards. I'll bring you in closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, whenever you um, see someone setting up an amplifier, they'll always put them into this position first. And this is called the, the clean position. And um, basically, in that position, all you're hearing is how the guitar sounds on its own, clean. But that doesn't, you know, it doesn't really help you much. I don't think, because You've got your clean tone here, your volume. You've got treble, middle, bass, and reverb. Turn the reverb off. But the middle is where all the action takes place on most guitars. The treble is obviously gives you a little bit of a higher pitch. The bass gives you a lower pitch. And the middle is where all the action takes place. So you'll see people making slight adjustments like this. And each amp is gonna be different. It's going to be different in each place it's played so or used because it, it, it depends on the room. So let's have a look see what this sounds like. You'll notice when I turn the power on, you get the green light, and when you put your plug your guitar in, it stays green, but as soon as you hit a note, it turns red. A lot of people freak out when they see that, they think, oh, but all that's telling you is that the circuit is live. The gain and the overdrive is off. We've just got the clean volume at 12 o'clock, got the treble at 12 o'clock, the middle at 12 o'clock and the bass at 12 o'clock, no reverb. And uh, I've got the guitar, Set to both hum, set to both humbuckers. Turn the tone right off. Volume right up, and then just play. Okay, that's a clean tone. A chord. What you got to remember? I'm in a small room. This is my kind of library den type place. And the amp needs to be off the floor. The floor, if it's on the floor, you're going to get resonances bouncing off the floor. The bass will be affected. So you want to get the amp up. If you can't get it up off the floor, angle it so it's pointing towards you. Angle the amp so it's pointing towards you so you can hear what you're actually playing. Okay? So that's the clean tone. Let's try a bit of lead. Very muddy. Okay, 
so that gives you an idea of a clean tone. Using the first humbucker. And now on the treble or lead, A chord. Much sharper. I'll go with the middle position. I'll just turn that treble back a bit. That's it. A chord. Now we turn the bass down a bit, a quarter. Now we turn the bass right off. Turn the treble right off. And the middle to a quarter. Now watch what happens next. I haven't touched the volume. You turn the middle off, you get virtually nothing from the guitar at all. Unless you turn the volume up to full. Can you hear that? So this EQ, this equaliser, is very important. You don't have to have the, the amp on full volume in the clean mode, but you have to have the middle. It must at least have the middle running to get anything at all. Now, you can set and find the tone that you like. Just find the tone that you like that sounds pleasing to you. Okay? So whatever you set here in your, your room where you're working, where you're practicing, it's not going to sound the same when you go out live. It's going to sound totally different because the room dynamics are going to be different. So one of the things that I like to do when I'm working with the, with the amp is to pick a tune that I know what it sounds like. Okay? So let's try a tune. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for the tonal quality. Right notes, but it's the wrong tone. Let's try again. Now I know that Mr. Gilmore likes a little bit of gain, so we'll put the gain on just a touch. Keep these all centered. We're looking for that tone. Too much gain. Turn it down a bit. Too, too, too muddy. sharp. Still too muddy. So what can we do? Take the bass down, take the treble up, try again. Still too bassy when you do that. OK. 
okay. So now we're getting somewhere. That sounds like it, doesn't it? I don't know what it sounds like to you, it sounds like it to me. Okay, so there you see you have to mess about quite a bit to get the tone, but once you get the tone that you, you recognise, then you're in, you're in the zone. And you can start to mess around and start to actually practice the piece. Those of you who are, who are observant will notice that I'm playing a Les Paul Gibson style guitar, whereas Mr Gilmore plays a Fender Stratocaster, a highly modified one at that. But even with this guitar and this amp, you can get to sound like a Fender. That's why these the guitars are favoured by a lot of people because you do get a, a, right, a wide variety of tonal qualities with it. So let's try that again. I'm trying to make to you is this. If you have a tune in your head, in your mind, and you want to get your amp to sound like it, you have to practice. You have to try and f you have to try a few different things out. You see how long I was messed about with this. I already cut loads of it out, but it takes time to get the right tone. But once you've got it, you can make a note of those settings and you can say, right, next time I want to play something like Floyd. That's where I need to be, because Gilmore played Shine On Your Crazy Diamonds in a clean tone with just a little bit of game and a little bit of delay. Now if we stick some reverb on, let's see what we get now. That sounds about right, that sounds good. So, what have we learned today? Get the amp off the floor, so you don't get those bass resonances bouncing off the floorboards. The amp depends on where you are in the room, depends on the size of the room, what stuff you've got in the room, if you've got uh, clothing or you know bookshelves absorbing the sound. So it all depends on where you are. So you have to think about your environment you're playing in. And when you're out on a gig, Whatever works here, it's probably not going to work in the gig. That's why you need to do a sound check, right? You go to the place early, you set up, you set your amp up, and this will work in a small bar or a pub or a club quite well. And most pubs have got PA systems. Most clubs have got PA systems, so you can just jack this into a PA system using the line out. There's a line out there. So yeah, that's how you find better tones. You literally find them by hunting around. I could give you settings for rock and roll, I could give you settings for blues, but they're not going to be the same for you as they are for me because this room is this room and whatever settings I use they might approximate to what they sound like to you but your room's going to be different so you have to mess about a bit, play around a little bit and then you'll, kind, you'll find the, the perfect tone for your setup. So I've got a nice little thing going on here in the clean tone. That sounds pretty good to me.
<laughs> I've still got practice, same as you have. And um, I'm glad I've done this one because this is a this is a, a tricky subject to take on. It's a tricky because everyone's different. Every place is different. Every room is different. So you have to get used to playing this, playing with this almost as much as you do with playing with the guitar because it will be affected by wherever it's placed. First things first, remember, get it off the floor, stick it on a chair or whatever, and just mess about with it, play around with it. And more important than anything else, have fun. <laughs> well, while we're at it, might as well have a bit of this as well. Now you see that sounds completely wrong because the settings are different. Sounds completely wrong because it's in clean. It's a clean tone. They have loads of delays and effects and simps and all kinds of stuff going on. Anyway, that's neither in nor there. I hope this was of interest to you and I hope you learned something um, about placement of your amp and the room that you're in. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.